Session cases is recognised as the most authoritative version of a Scottish law report. If I might refer your Lordship to the case of Sweeney against Sweeney, which is reported at 2004 session cases, page 300. Session cases have authority because they are produced by the Scottish Council for Law Reporting, which was set up in order to produce high quality reports which the courts could rely upon. There are practice notes which have been issued by both the Scottish Supreme Court, so that's the Court of Session, and the High Court of Judiciary, and the UK Supreme Court to the effect that where a case is reported in session cases or justiciary cases, that is the case which has to be used in court in preference to any other report. Session cases are not the only law report series in Scotland. There are several, including the Scots Law Times, the Scottish Civil Law Reports, and the Scottish Criminal Case Reports. However, uniquely in Scotland, session cases are written by the practising advocates who use them. Case reports, authorities, precedents, are the tools of the trade of an advocate. One would like to think that because advocates are amongst the, uh, the key users, they will understand um, what the needs of users are. The benefit of having advocates writing them is that it Advocates are specialists in pleading and appearing in front of the Scottish Supreme Courts and the UK Supreme Court. You're used to citing cases yourself in the context of your work, so you tend to think about what would you need to know if you were doing research in an area or if you were wanting to cite a case to the court. If you know that you can rely upon other members of your profession to select appropriate cases, to summarise them properly when they're drafting the rubric and give you all the information you need, not just the court's ruling, but the bits and bobs around it which help to make sense of the decision. Although it is advocates who write session cases, they are not the only users. Session cases and justiciary cases are used daily by solicitors, researchers and academics. We need to access a record of past judgments so that we can advise clients about how the law is likely to apply and the facts of the particular case which has arisen. Likewise, the lawyers who do transactional business like corporate deals or property deals need to be able to work out how, for example, contractual provisions have been applied and looked at uh, in previous cases. So, session cases are the preeminent series of Scottish law reports. But what do they look like and how are they constructed? Well, you've got, first of all, the name of the case, the parties, what the case is going to be known as the date, the court with the name of the judges, which is very important because every judge has got its own personality, catchwords which tell you the area of law that the decision touches on. What you've got to realise is the actual opinion can be very long, 20, 30, 40, 50, even 100 pages. And so for the user to get quickly to the nub of that and decide whether the case is useful for them, they need a help, a guide, a map. As soon as you look at the catchwords, you know what the case is about. And then you need 30 seconds more to look at the head note. So you get a summary of the applicable law, the facts of the case, what the advocates have argued, and finally, the decision. And these paragraphs after held, numbered paragraphs, one, two, three, four, five, are the legal points of the case as set out by the judge. These are the decisions the judge has made on the legal issues. One of the other advantages of session cases is that for each session case there's a number assigned which you'll find at the top of the page which refers to a set of session papers. Well session papers are the documents used in the presentation of cases in the court of session. The advocates use them to gain a greater understanding of the facts of a case and the legal arguments involved. And very occasionally it is useful to have a look at not just what's reported there, but the entire papers from the background, the written pleadings and such like, the interlocutors of the court. The economic and political life of Scotland is mirrored and embedded in these session papers, really, so they're, they're, they're very interesting. But having working advocates write the reports is not the limit of the legal expertise that goes into the preparation of session cases. Uniquely in Scotland, the presiding judges in each case are given an opportunity before publication to read and verify the reports. 
the reports before they are produced are revised by judges, so the final and authoritative version of what the judge wants to say in that particular case. Well, you do occasionally come across uh, instances in which the report in session cases or justiciary cases uh, does, in fact, read rather differently from what is recorded in other publications because, simply in that case, it's obvious that the judge, when getting the session case or justiciary case report, has decided that the point which he was trying to make uh, can be better put or that qualification may have to be added. And for that reason, uh, they have precedence over all the other law reports in Scottish courts.